calle. Okay, remember what I told you. Be your own boss. Love yourself. Get up and dance. Thank you very much, dear Grady Six. Actually, these are real young suckers who are to take the lead when these old bananas are gone. Now, with a round of applause, please. Short, which will show that. Academy class of 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, foremost, thank God for this moment and for blessing our gathering. I thank you all for making time out of your busy schedules to be with us today, today tonight. You have made this occasion a reality in some way, including your presence. May God bless you all. I'm delighted to host you here this evening. Um, my father, Mr. Leonard Kavishe. We are very happy and proud of these young minds before us. 
as we gather to celebrate the graduation of our primary school students, we cannot help but reflect on the growth, learning and laughter that they that have filled this always over the years. Throughout these years, we have witnessed the transformation of these students, some of them, not all, have been with us in the seven primary school years, so in total they've been here for 10 years. It's a significant time in one's life. The lessons they've learned extend beyond textbooks and classroom walls. They've learned about friendship, empathy, teamwork, and the importance of resilience. Behind each graduate stands a team of dedicated educators and supportive parents who have nurtured their talents and courage of these remarkable individuals. From the day you stepped into the classroom to the moments of triumph and even the challenges you faced, you have shown resilience and determination around you. Always remember that education is a lifelong journey and every experience you encounter will contribute to your growth. Your teachers, parents, and all of us here have witnessed in this ever-changing world, remember the values you have learned at Milestone. Kindness, respect, and empathy are the virtues that will guide you through any challenges you face. Your potential is boundless, and your capacity to create a better world is limitless. You will soon join a secondary school of your choice, I hope. that will serve your abilities by reaching this point, carry that self-belief forward, and never underestimate what you can achieve. Remember, the only limits that truly exist are the ones you place upon yourself. Fourth, practice gratitude and kindness. As you forge ahead, don't forget the support systems that brought you here. Express gratitude to your mentors, family, and friends who have cheered you on. And extend kindness to others, for it is through lifting others up that we truly rise. Finally, strive for purpose and meaning. Pursue careers and paths that align with your passions and values. Success is not just about financial gains. It's about finding fulfillment and contributing positively to the world around you. My children, you are now equipped with the tools, knowledge, and potential to create a future that is bright and impactful. So go out there and make your mark. Inspire others and continue to learn and grow. The world awaits your brilliance. Congratulations graduates of the Milestone class of 2023. May your futures be bright, your hearts be joyful, and your accomplishments be inspiring. The world awaits your greatness, and we have no doubt that you will shine brightly wherever your paths may lead. Thank you. The next
next part of our speech will be done by my fellow director. Please welcome. Thank you, thank you so much, my dear husband. Good evening, everybody. I'm so excited to be here, just as my husband has mentioned. It's such a big day for us. And he has focused on the children, and I'm going to focus on milestones. I'm so happy today to be able to celebrate this with our family and our extended family, who are the parents of the children here today. As you know, we live right here, in that house right there. And the children are with us most of the evenings, grade sevens, as they sleep here. So we have enjoyed many times looking at them and watching them grow. Some of you started at reception, I remember you, in the naughty years, and we watched them mature into the young men you see today in bow ties and ties and very nice, beautiful dresses. I really love these children. You can see how they've grown close. All the girls did the same hairstyle, down up here. It's amazing. So congratulations. Milestones today, this year, completes five years. Five years as Milestones Academy and we are blessed to be able to develop this project to where it is today. Today we will be launching our new aquatic center that is right behind you, that focuses on sports in the water and upstairs is the studio for music, taekwondo and dance. That is what we are launching today for the children. Grade seven will have a privilege of doing their exams in this building because we want them to sit in one venue. But after that, it will be used by the rest of their brothers and sisters to develop the other skills that we are so focused on. Milestones, Milestones is moving ahead with the government's agenda of diversifying the educational curricula to be able to develop skills as part of competence of knowledge and attributes. We are focused on behaviors, we are focused on skills, and we are focused on knowledge. We are proud that the knowledge side has enhanced our students to be very competitive. With this class, we continue to grow. So, without further ado, because each year we've managed to be blessed to be able to do a development. First, we started with White House One, which is the first building. Our, our children named these buildings, by the way. We came back, we found out they called that building White House One, which we dedicated to the memory of our mother-in-law. The second White House building came and they called it White House Two. And we had uh, three floats of grade one classes because we wanted to keep them on the ground floor. And this year we're launching this building. So without further ado, as my parents, I want to allow the guest of honor before you do your duties to escort mom and dad to across to the building so that they can open the building. Naomba DJ, utawasindikiza mama na baba, wakafungue yengo. I'll continue to tell the story of milestones while they walk across. Um,
kwanza walimu wote wameshakuwa acknowledged lakini kuna watu tatu ambao wako kwenye maisha yangu na mume wangu ambao wanastahili kusimama leo kama wapo lakini i'll just mention them in case they are not wa kwanza ni beatus sijui kama beatus amekuja beatus upo Okay na, na kama aki, akija tutamuona Beatus ni amtamini ndio aliyosimamia majengo yote haya ni kijana mdogo katoka rombo ameweza kuwa na mume wangu close kabisa na kila project is the head contractor na kwa kweli anafanya tulale bila headaches kubwa Mwingine ni Komba sijui Komba nimekuona hapa siku nzima Shemeji Komba electrical leo soma mume wangu lakini mume wangu anamwamini kuliko anao yeye aifanye hiyo kazi mwenyewe kwa hiyo alitoka na sisi tangibovu na yuko na sisi kwenye hii project na ande, anaendelea kuwa na sisi hata moshi rombo anafika tunamshukuru sana kwa 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 k
na mwisho anaitwa Francis si kama amefika lakini Francis has a delightful story juzi amenipigia si mama mama nimepata mtoto wa kike mama nimepata mtoto wa kike na yeye akaniambia nikampa hongera sana akaniambia naomba umnipe jina kesho yake nikamwambia chagua kati ya Flavia na Angela akachagua Flavia ambayo yote mawili ni majingi na wadogo zangu kwa hiyo sasa hivi anaitwa baba Flavia na yeye kafanya tiles taa zote kwenye majengo yote kila mahali na wako karibu sana kwenye maisha yetu kwa hiyo hao watatu hakuweza kuwa hapa lakini nitaka kuwapa special mention tunashukuru watu wengi ambao wamekuwa na sisi asanteni sana kuongezea tu um, mwaka huu kwa milestones it's a special year um, milestones was uh, officially registered as a free and primary school in uh, 2018 so it's our fifth anniversary so every time we get an opportunity to celebrate this year we are celebrating five years of our existence and we are proudly to be in existence Thank you very much.
the guests of honor, the grade six, seven teachers to give the grade seven the certificates. Welcome. Part of their special for that event. But we request everybody to observe the time. One by one, please, parents, you wish to take picture, position yourself there on that band. Oh, 
over. Ryan Daudi Chaz. Irene Damas Mugashe. Fisha Maleke Mringo. Dana Ai Kamalamo. Erin Ejina Makwabe. Gabriela William Gumpi. Gladness Isaiah Sisia. John Kenneth Tim. Henry Morombe. Stage 
servants. Parents, you still get another chance to take the photos. May we have them on stage. have a special quality. So as a school, we would like to award each one of them because they deserve that. Alessandro Alute Nungu Alfred Junior Uriel Amin Collins Mukama Mujage Euron Alex Kusaga Ethan Joachim Eyembe Fasbir Seki Matola Ikram Isa Athumani Imran Munshehe Saeed Joe Bildad Malai Mahsen Fahad Masanjo Mikael John Monguku Naftal Eric Mushi Nathan Menelik Malangalila Nelson Mahon Gimdon Pharrell Benson Mhindi Rodney Nsaniwa Kiloba Ryan Dow Charles Irene Damas Mugashi Jaffet Fungo Anjoga Dudon Sinzikayo
Kenilembe Potensi Riza. Landrada Uich Munyechi. Michelle Nicodemus Nyamadege. Naila Nuru Farid Hashir. Pamela Pasensko. Vivika Yunis Shekibula. Warda Francis Alex. And when the Vivian Rogate Sarwat. Congratulations, children. Please come back on stage. We are not yet done. We have one more item. Now we are going to award a specific uh, groups or certain pupils who have excelled in certain areas. We have just chosen a few categories which we would like to honor these children with and they will receive a special award. This is to motivate them because they've worked so hard and they deserve it. So I'm going to hand over to the academic teacher who will read out as we issue those awards. Thank you everybody. Um, uh, I would like to start with this position, I mean with this uh, certificate or um, award, which is about the one who uh, is the most improved pupil. That means she was lagging behind or he was lagging behind, but after a long time of teaching, she or he was improved. And this is Michelle Nicodemus Nyama Jeju. Uh, by using district mocks, regional mocks, and other big exams, we compiled the results and found the one who excelled in the top three were those who did the best in top three in those big exams, external exams. Number three is... Best number three performance goes to Landrada Urich Munyech. And the second position in those exams for the best academic performance second position rank, this is Erin Egina Makwabe. the one and only who did the best this year in get seven in all exams position number one the, uh, this is Rodney Sanyua Kiloba this is also known as Mr. CPU <laughs> alright thank you so much 
they have done a lot, all of them, but uh, we have recognized because of what have happened to those exams. Now, we are going to the best participant in football who participated in different games and in district level. This is Mikael John Mangoku. He is not the, uh, the only one in football. There is another one who is based in football. This is Pharrell Benson Muhindi. These are footballers. The coming Mbwana Samata, Lionel Mess, and the Max Zengeli. <laughs> okay. In basketball, we have the best in basketball, and this is Collins Nkama Mujiage. And this also goes to a lady. This is Kemelembe Potent Riza. <laughs> Alright, uh, now we are going to another athletic which is swimming. The best in swimming? Best in swimming goes to my pupil who is called Gabriela William Guppy. Best in swimming. <laughs> She is not the only one in swimming, there are so many. The excelled ones, the, uh, the other one is Rodney Isaniwa Kiloba. This is Mr. CPU, Mr. Central Processing Unit. <laughs> okay, the best uh, athletics, these ones are, first one is Naira Farid Hashiro. Followed by Nelson Mahonge Mdoe. Actually, academics needs discipline. These are the most pupils who are being most uh, very responsible before the discipline. Most responsible pupils. The first one goes to Wende Vivian Rogati Sarwat. A boy who was the most responsible, this is First Bill Sek Matola. Mr. Kasimonita. Mr. Kasimonita, you're welcome. How do you feel? <laughs> All right. <sir. laughs> and at my sons, we um, very much interested with confidence. We are trying to build the confidence of people. These are the most being confident and outstanding in communication. The first one goes to Imran Mwishehe Shaib. Aha. Has a hit. Yes, to the side of girls, this is Kofisha Maleke Mringo. Yes, now academics cannot go without discipline. These are the most disciplined pupils who will do anything which you want at any time. The first one is Duron Alex Kusaga. The most disciplined one. Thank you so much. You can see him. He is most disciplined, even moving. He cannot even kill an insect when moving. Very, very well disciplined. The next one to the ladies, because thank you so much. This is the end of the certificates award tonight.
Tamam. Tamam. Chairman of the Parents Committee, Headmistress, representative of the Grade 7 class, my mom and aunt, I give you this opportunity to wave, please. Thank you very much. My cousins, my niece and nephews, my family, and my friends. Good evening. First, I'd like to thank God for this opportunity, for this moment in time where we have been witnessing a transition and we are witnessing success in action. I thank God for that opportunity. Also, May I thank the headmistress for that impressive introduction of me. It's a real pleasure for me to be the guest of honor at Milestones Academy graduation ceremony. I am told that this is the third batch of grade seven graduates. And for a school which is five year old, that is quite a record. What a milestone. Since I was informed that I'll be the guest of honor at this prestigious event, I've been thinking about the messages to share with you that will be impactful yet humorous. I could not help to think back to my, my days when I was graduating from Standard 7 myself at Upanga Primary School more than 40 years ago. I recall the excitement I had, especially at the news that I had passed my standard seven exams going to secondary school, uh, Zanaki Secondary School. This excitement, however, was cut short by the fact that my father had got an opportunity to work with the UN in Ethiopia and I was kind of down but I didn't know there were greater things in store for me. What this meant was to continue my secondary education in Nairobi Green Acres and 10 years later I at this space I graduated with my masters from Johns Hopkins University. Now as I look back at this journey of academic learning, I reflected on the values that kept me going and kept me on track. I 
recall vividly, always thinking about the concept, opportunity knocks once, not twice. I'd always had this concept on my mind as I folded along one challenge after the other, one mission after the other, always applying it, thinking through that I do not play with opportunity. Once I get it, I must excel. In fact, I recall that typical scenario where my colleague and close friend actually lost an opportunity. That was a sad day in, in hell for us. It was during our youthful years when, as a fresh graduate from university, we were aspiring for high profile jobs. In the process, my friend had applied to approximately 60 job vacancies and only to hear back from one and that was, he was called for the interview. Now this low response rate was no surprise because obviously as you graduate from school you have no experience and you're no match for the very competitive job. So the excitement was real after hearing that he had been called for an interview. And he in turn prepared well for the interview. Unfortunately for him, the night before the interview, surprise birthday party on his behalf. We all forgot about the important event that was ahead of him and put together a grand party to celebrate his 22nd birthday. It was a big party. A good excuse to celebrate our party because we were leaving, we were graduating from university to the extent that we lost track of time. The next day, he was late for the job interview and the rest is history. He did not perform well. After the interview, there was a sunken feeling of he, did we miss an opportunity here? What if we did not surprise him? Or rather, what if he left the party early or maybe he should have stayed and not drank so much. There was this year in everybody's heart for a second chance, which of course never comes, at least not in the same way. It is a feeling I never allowed myself to experience when I could help it always putting my best foot forward and moving forward in the face of an opportunity. It is a good strategy to believe that when you lose an opportunity, it never comes back. That's a very good strategy. If it does, it will be in a different form and time and space. Live in the present, learn from the past, look forward to the future. Another precious commodity that I think is important to talk about is the issue of time, which is closely related to opportunity. Now, what about time? The headmistress alluded to this. For example, what time is it right now? It is quarter past eight. Will we see another quarter past eight again? Grade seven. What's the answer, yes or no? No, why? Because it, today, the 9th of September. Today is the 1st of September and it's quarter past eight. Of course, we'll see quarter past eight, but that will be tomorrow. So this time has gone. Just think in that manner. It might not be the same time, but it will be a different day, which of course is not the same. So I always make sure that every moment counts. This moment counts. Every moment I'm sober, that every moment counts. 
I know I will not get it again, and every moment is an opportunity. This way of thinking is what kept me going, especially through the journey of school, from reception all the way to my master's, close to 20 years of schooling. I encourage you, grade seven, to think through how precious That opportunity knocks once, not twice. And you are about and you are not about second chances because you will do your best the first time around. Is that a deal? Good. As you go out into the world, away from the world of milestones. This is your this has been your world. Now you're going into the world away from this. It is to the next level. Like grade six, everybody's moving to the next level. Grade six is going to grade seven, that's the next. It's all about winning. Because you are not in the business of playing with opportunities. You move forward, aim high. Aim for the sky. And in that way, you will set your bar high. Is this clear? One strategy I had myself to keep set high is I believed in role models. I always believed that I, the person who I admired, I would admire someone, like I can admire the president, I can admire a friend, I admired someone for some reasons. And that person I admired, I said, that person is good, but I'm going to be better. That's how I used to think. I remember such a role model in my life when I was in secondary school. I admired this lady. She was very focused, studious, bright and very well together, like the awards we've seen here, the most responsible person. That is not a simple uh, competence, simple quality. This lady, she had the qualities of a natural leader, and obviously she was much higher than me. I considered her that big sister. When we used to go to school in Nairobi, a boarding school, for holidays, we always all together went home um, to Addis Ababa. She would always look after us as a big sister. Then she went to school in England and then America. And of course, I followed suit, believing I'm doing the right thing because the person I admired used this path. She took a different track of studies at the university and I took a different one. When I graduated, I then looked for her, and I found that, in fact, she did not uh, finish uh, university. So she did not graduate. But I had not graduated. It was, it was unfortunate. But, in fact, she had played a very significant role in my life. She had made me excel because she helped me set a bar very high. So that is one strategy that I use to set the bar high. Always remember, you should aim for the sky. Aim up here. If you aim for the sky, you reach the treetop. If you aim down here, reach down there. So aim for the sky. Go for it. For parents, Hongereni Sana, investing in Investing in education is a sure win. The returns are almost immediate. And for those who say education is expensive, I say try ignorance. We learned this concept from our forefathers, our late President Nyerere. That was one of the issues he used to say as Tanzanians. He's all about fighting three big problems. 
because about ignorance, about poverty, and about disease. So ignorance was on the agenda. When you're ignorant, you cannot articulate much. You cannot think about tomorrow. Only the here and now. By investing in your children, you are bringing up a generation that has a sure tomorrow. In the process, do not underestimate the power of prayers. It is where our inspiration comes from. I realize that it's a long journey until that point when one becomes independent, especially financially independent, and some never really break away from the parents' cushion. But what a feeling it is when you reach there. Being involved in your children's journey, understanding their strengths, and investing in them will take them to the next level. Support your children. Support your children's journey to the stars. Let them be amongst the best on planet Earth. It's all about winning. And let the, this investment be a win-win for you, like it has been for me. By investing in my children, from reception to university, I have managed to raise two co-founders who were co-founders at a very tender age of 23 and 26, and they're co-founders of a company called Ramani, which is the largest tech company in Tanzania with a regional reach. And in the pipeline is my youngest son, a public health practitioner, about to complete his master's in epidemiology from University of Washington, Seattle. I have literally succeeded to wean them off in a sustainable manner. I continue to count on God's blessing for their protection and success. May I congratulate the founders of the school, the owners, the directors, my sister, Caroline, and my brother-in-law, L.P. Nikavishi. Milestones is five years old. The vision of doing Nectar Plus allowed them to develop your children in a holistic manner. It is more than just reading and memorizing. It is growing in all kinds of areas, competencies that are needed for today's job market. The school is leading the way ahead of government strategy of a competence-based curriculum, particularly excelling in knowledge and attitude competencies which are fundamental qualities of being a good leader. In five years, as we have been told, it has been rated as a very good school of becoming, an, and borderline of becoming an excellent school. It is all our hope that the performance of this year will take the school to the level of excellent category. among nectar schools in Tanzania. As you know, to move from one category to another, it is all performance-based. So their movement depends on the performance of the schools. Whenever you see a school that's been rated as good, excellent, it's a reflection of how the students are performing. We are sure the achievements of this class will take milestones to that category. We are expecting our students to sit their exams in two weeks. May God watch over you and help you in these tests and every other test for the rest of your lives. Amen. Thank you. But not to forget, of course, our teachers and support staff. We saw them. Be proud of yourself. What is happening here is part of nation building. 
and you are the backbone to these efforts. Your precision in execution has kept the dream alive. The school is thriving. Your talent, your dedication, and hard work will carry the students to triumph. May you be blessed beyond measure. We appreciate you. Again, thank you very much for this opportunity to speak with you this evening, and thank you for listening. Thank you very much.
You can't do super crime. A crime? Where the devil is that? Sister, did you not learn your geographical studies? Who needs stupid geography? Well, a crime is the largest kingdom east of here. That is just the kingdom is way larger than ours. Larger than ours? Impossible. Hmm. You're probably right. Anyways, who are you throwing this party for? Well, the police. Oh, I know. The party's for me. Obviously. I'm going to go get ready. Although you cannot improve perfect beauty. But I shall surely try. <laughs> oh dear. This party was actually for me. to stand up to 
don't worry, I'll get you this time. Bipidi bapidi boo! <laughs> this serves you. Beauty is a beast, but as we should all know, there's beauty inside us. Don't let anyone tell you that you're ugly or stupid. You're so beautiful the, just the way you are. And that's why we acted this play from our beautiful director, Mara Mercy. Thank you.
We are indeed privileged to have passed through good hands. We thank you a lot for making us see mathematics with a different point of view. Surely mathematics won't be a challenge anymore. <laughs> Sir James and Sabe, we hereby solemnly promise to be good patriots. We are indeed grateful for all your efforts and good teachings. English has always been the national language in milestones. We thank you, Mr. Frank, for sharpening our tongues into perfect English speakers. And to you, grade six, habit number one, be proactive. Grade six, please be proactive in all your academic activities and extracurricular activities too. This will enable you to be winners. As the saying goes, you can either be a winner or learn something from what you have been through. We believe that we are all winners. We are running short of words of praises as the list is endless. In a nutshell, we thank the whole milestones team from Bob at the gate to all the drivers and other supporting staff. Mbarikiwe Our dearest Madam Aika, a sentence begins with a dot and later grows and becomes a story. Madam Aika is the story in our school life. Humble yet firm, she has taken milestones from one level to another. We thank you, dearest Madam Aika, for making us special pupils full of potential. Thank you so much, our headmistress. Our esteemed directors, Milestones was your dream, and we are very happy to be part of your dream. You have made sure to chase your dreams of building a beautiful school with good, strong structures, and made sure we never lack any resources. This is because of your two great intelligent minds, minds of intellectuals. We thank you for accepting us in your esteemed school. It was quite a pleasure being part of your beautiful, esteemed dream. Stay blessed, our dear directors, Mr. and Mrs. Kavishi. We shall never let you down as the eagles three step down. We shall still carry thus the spirit of the ego, soaring higher and higher. God bless you all. God bless Milestones Academy. God and God bless, bless Tanzania.
Ladies and gentlemen, upcoming next, would like you to be introduced by Ms. Shazmin. Shazmin Matola, please take us to the next event. this event under the guidance of the teachers who are selected to support this please welcome on the stage for the exchange of learning coach teachers please We are here to explain what the exchange of the learning torch is all about. This is the solemn event of this celebration. Education is the torch of learning which has to light a number of generations. Light represents knowledge and wisdom and is seen to lighten the dark world through learning. Passing on the learning torch in education includes keeping it lit through accumulating new knowledge and experiences. The flaming torch signifies the purpose of education, to serve as a beacon of light, which enables one to see the path towards the bright future by illuminating and eradicating the darkness of ignorance. As a symbol of continuity of learning, the representatives of grade seven will pass the learning torch to the incoming class of grade six, ensuring that this forum, that the spirit will continue to light generations. To facilitate this, we now request outgoing and incoming student representatives and the school management and the parent representatives to come on stage.
126 representative for relax. Lanta representative for the statement. Please, ladies and gentlemen, with a round of applause, let welcome with me Mama Imran Mishay. Learning is a long journey and the world is vast and full of opportunities. 
waiting to be explored. Remember to approach each challenge with an open mind, curious heart, and the determination to make a positive impact. On behalf of my fellow parents, we humbly extend our heartfelt gratitude to the Milestone Academy Management, teachers and all the staffs, your tireless dedication, passions and passion have left an irreversible mark on our children's life. We are confident enough that the strong foundation we have provided will serve as a compass guiding them towards success and fulfillment in their new adventures. Please allow me to quote Mr. Nelson Mandela, one of the greatest statesmen to have ever lived, Mr. Mandela once said, teachers are the builders of our nation. They are the ones who shape the minds and hearts of our children. And they play a critical role in shaping the future of our country. We must invest in our teachers and give them the resources they need to do their jobs effectively. We must also create a culture of respect for teachers so that they are seen as the essential professionals that they are. Thank you for unwavering commitment to education and for being driving force in shaping the future for our children. Here's to the management, teachers, and all the staff who have touched our hearts in the school that has become a second for our children. Your impact is immeasurable, and your legacy will continue to shine through the achievements of every graduate. We promise to fly high the flag of Milestone Academy and be good ambassadors who will encourage and convince other parents to join their children at this school. May the future of our children be bright, their dreams be boundless, and their journey be filled with joy, protection from God.
Seven uh, uh, teachers for all the subjects. Um, the matron, can you please uh, step forward and be on my left so that we can save time? Can you please step forward?
um, I think for the first exercise you are done, um, very briefly, very quickly. So just because of, of time, um, I would like again to call upon the parents, yeah, with specific gifts to specific teachers to just step forward and be on my right so that we can um, do this exercise quite quickly, just because of time. Can you please step forward, be on, on my right, please? today for the teachers I think we are giving um, whatever we are able to get to the head teacher yeah later on I think there's going to be accounting and, 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 and then giving uh, whatever was uh, collected to the teachers and, and other sort of stuff so thank you so much for, for doing that so on behalf of other parents and, and graduates yeah there are some extra gifts which are prepared for our teachers and um, I think in this instance, um, I would like to call upon um, Mr. Sechu or your representative just to say some few words yeah, on behalf of all graduates. I know we are so many. Uh, we had a, a class of 40, so um, it's being done on, on our behalf. So, Karib Sana, Mr. Sechu, for a few words. Other students have been studying here for 10 years, 7 years, other than that. And we would have loved to show our greatest gratitude and appreciation to their teachers and caretakers. Hence, we've decided to bring these gifts to them. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Uh, okay. Okay, just because of time, then you should feel free uh, to give the gifts to our, our teachers, just because of time. Initially, I wanted to call them one by one, but I think just because of time, please feel free, interact, and give the gift to the teachers, whatever gifts that we have had, and say some few words of appreciation. Yeah, um, The teachers have been doing quite a good job to our kids. Um, I understand most of the kids are also staying here in almost all of them in, in the boarding. So again, the matron yeah, and, and other support staff and quite a great job. So Karibu, Mr. Msechu and uh, other, other parents. teachers to just come and pick their gifts as they are not among the class seven teachers. Teacher Kahamba, wherever you are. Teacher Mese. And Teacher Abela.
On behalf of my fellow parents, yeah, uh, for grade seven graduates, we really appreciate. We've been able to contribute uh, 753,000, yeah, for the teachers, matron, yeah, and, and poster. So we'd like to hand over to Madam Maika. So thank you so much for that. And again, um, your contribution is invaluable. We are really appreciating and we are so thankful, yeah, for what you have done and please keep doing your best yeah i know um the torch has been passed to grade six more kids are coming through so please keep doing your best and again the moral part of the story is really important yeah so academics is one side where you equip um, our kids with the right skills the right knowledge but again the moral part of it and the skills the life skills part of it discipline as we've heard today very important yeah integrity not telling lies yeah living a purposeful life i've heard from the guest of Anna. so we, we are really on your support and your contribution of course with our respective parents included so thank you so much asante and san <laughs>
piece of advice to the future candidates. Without self-discipline, success is impossible. Be the best at whatever you do. Hard work and success are identical twins, as we say.
Very much, Eagles. Now you can take your seat. Thank you.
Nation. Um, honestly, I'm pretty sure we all feel excited and thank you for making this graduation possible. Thank you.
saba kule giza nataka ni shuti hapa tarehe ya tatu
eine Disqualifizierung der Männer. Ein anderes Ding denke ich, dass der Fuhr der Nostra de Cadilly ist ein Passbin und Go ist ein Ding absolut gepaid. Sie provide us with a healthy, balanced legs. And the teachers are always open to hear our friends of youth and opinions to and how we put friends or food. While they're gone, the two their glasses and this one in the end. My name was a mini friend. I swim my whole family level in Marshall's Academy. And I see the environment here is a key issue for a child to develop academic and sportion. Russell's Academy is the hall of competent students. It also allows the student to compete with competent students across the country. Russell Academy is, uh, is also a home of future international leaders and night innovators, as the water says, communicate and collaborate with competence and confidence. Thank you. Communicate, collaborate with competence and confidence. My name is Erin Agina Makwande. My life at Milestones has been an amazing and life changing experience. Milestones is a place where dreams turn into realities. It has different learning facilities and various kinds of clubs to sharpen your talents. In Milestones, you can learn new things and meet various kinds of people. All in all, with no doubt, Milestones is truly an amazing place to know. My name is Andalivia Rogat Sarat. At Milestones Academy, we play different kind of games like basketball, football, and netball. Martin's Academy provides a good environment for pupils to relax after studies. It also provides a good environment for pupils to build their bodies mentally and physically. Thank you. Well, my name is Kayla Henry Orombe. I feel like the bowling life in Martin's Academy is nice and amazing in such a way that it allowed me to adapt to the environment and allowed me to cooperate with my fellows better than I did in day. It also gave me a chance to study more so that I can improve academically in my performance. My advice to parents out there who would love to bring their children here at Milestones is not to hesitate because they will never regret their time here. Thank you. Thank you.
Nene is really fishing that man. I would that most of the cuddly is a has been and go is on being absolutely great. They provide us with a healthy, balanced diet. And now we put friend or food. All they gone, the two dead glasses and this one and then my name was a mini for it. I spent my whole primary level for a child to develop academic expression. Communicate. Collaborate with competence experience. Muscles is a place where dreams turn into realities. It has different learning facilities and various kinds of clubs to sharpen your talents. In Muscles, you can learn new things and meet various kinds of people. All in all, with no doubt, Muscles is truly an amazing place to know.